Thanks to these robots introduced in hospitals across California and some other U.S. states, doctors are now able to beam themselves into patients' rooms and offer medical advice. The physician can log into the device by using a computer, laptop or tablet. A two-way video system allows the physician and the patient to conduct a consultation. The robot has an auto-drive function that allows it to navigate to the patient's room using sensors to avoid bumping into things or people. That it allows for very quick evaluation of these patients. So uh, it's just like being uh, with the patient in the room. So of course, you know, the, nothing could replace seeing these patients in person, but it's the next best thing. A growing number of hospitals are using remote presence robots to expand access to medical specialists, especially in rural areas where there's a shortage of doctors. The physician can't touch the patient, but there's always a nurse or medical assistant on site to help if needed. I think that the technology enables us to, to be virtually present in the clinical environment. Uh, there is a, a limitation in our, in our inability to touch the patient, but as far as a clinical evaluation, taking a history, making a really good clinical decision and making sure there's the best outcome for that patient, I think it's a, a very close. While the advantages of using these robots are undeniable, especially in emergencies, critics are pointing to the high cost. Others have also raised security concerns over potential leaks of data gathered by a remote-controlled device crawling around a research laboratory, for instance.